The Q rep echoing ideas from the most controversial speaker at CPAC so far, Hungary's far right leader, Viktor Orban. You see Orban there with Donald Trump, who will be headlining the event and speaking tomorrow. Orban causing a firestorm before the conference after saying Hungary should not be a, quote, mixed race country, causing his own advisor to resign and to condemn the remarks as echoing Nazi propaganda. CPAC invited him anyway, with attendees eating up his MAGA-like speech. I am an old-fashioned freedom fighter. Politics, my friend, are not enough. This war is a culture war. Don't worry, a Christian politician cannot be racist. Hungary shall protect the institution of marriage as the union of one man and one woman. The globalists can all go to hell. I have come to Texas. Uh, <laughs> Joining me now is my friend Kurt Bardella, who actually used to work with Steve Bannon at Breitbart. He is now an advisor to the DNC and the DCCC. Kurt, what does that disgusting display of somebody like Viktor Orban on domestic U.S. soil telling you about the state of the GOP? What you are seeing, Katie, is the Republican Party wrap their arms around autocratic white nationalist ideals and, and cementing that as the platform of their party going forward. Make no mistake about it right now. There is no divorcing the Republican Party from racism. Every single candidate that is on the ballot with an R next to their name in, in November, you own this. Your refusal to speak out against it, your participation in it, the fact that you cater and pander to the audience that is at CPAC that is cheering on these very dangerous and disgusting ideals, you own this. It would not be hard for any member of the Republican Party to denounce what we're hearing right now. Things that are repulsive, repugnant, have no place in the 21st century, yet they're not going to do that. They're going to hide. They're going to embrace. They're going to high five. They're going to cheer it on because to them, the white America that we're hearing these speakers talk about is exactly what they want to do to this country. They're not trying to hide it. I mean, they basically have taken off their hoods and just exposed themselves for what they are. You know,